this side? I, I don't know. That's what I'm worried to know about. Well, if you will. are, just do your best to not get in the way of the camera, but I'm gonna stay in the do whatever you want. Well, well someone's going to have to ref over here, probably. Yeah. I'll just sit figure it out once I get here. This could be a good game. I wanted that win, man. Fucking every, you guys play every team. Every team. You should get nothing. Thank God. <laughs> like, Adam gave us a like, would you rather play BG or Towson? I'm like, yeah, oh, BG. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the last, fuck this, this whole semester, and like last, end of last semester, we lost like every game, like one or two to every like top 10 state, except for a second. Yeah, Kent State was. Kent State 2 1, Michigan State 2 1. 2 1? I thought it was 3 1. Or 3 2, Michigan State, I'm sorry. 3 2. Oh, oh, no, I meant when you played Kent. Yeah, 2 1. And then Akron was like 2 1. Alright, about to start. Towson against Michigan State. Last game of the tournament for Towson. 3 0 so far. A couple close ones. Michigan State, Towson. MSU, 2 0 today. Uh, wins over. Ohio and Cleveland State. You're wrapping this side? Yeah, the funny thing, if you're just as close to that, I can get to this. Yeah, once you go down that way, you're totally fine. Yeah, you can even be closer, like farther forward. It's only a problem when there's a bunch of fans that are here and the ref has to actually like, go down the line. In this game, it'll be. Ball start on the run-up. Alright, here we go. Again, good run up for Towson. First throw misses. Towson ended up with six balls on the run. The dodge there. Both teams missing a few of their better players. Towson obviously down, I think, three starters, including Jordan Watt. MSU down four starters. Good hit by MSU. Another miss. Stay up on that ball. Who the top catchers are from Michigan State and be careful. 
not to throw at them. MSU does have some catching talent. Towson's got to pick and choose when to make throws on those players and when to take out other, other targets. Start to point number one here. Zero zero. We're about five minutes in. Another low throw. actually only have, has eight people left on the court, but they've been hanging on to ball advantage the entire game. Playing from the front line, MSU hasn't found an answer for it yet. Oh wow, big catch in the corner for Michigan State. MSU only one ball on their side still. Side of the leg. Towson now down to six players on the court. One 
away from being on the 10 count. Oh, two low throws there. And a ball's over. Towson gets balls over again. They only have six players left on the court, though. Some of their less experienced players are out there. Zero zero score. About seven minutes into the game. What's the time at?
Three people left still for Towson. But they just got balls over. Point number one, yeah. One zero, Michigan State in the league. Not exactly sure what the time is. I'll try and find that out. Oh uh, no, it's called this. Score one zero, Michigan State. Tough end of that point for Towson. Again, Towson wins the run up though. Akron is playing right now against uh, Central Michigan. They'll be on 1 0. 1 0. Akron with the lead over Central Michigan. Akron will be on the main court. 
every game they play after this. Akron over Central, 1-0 right now. That game's in the first half. This game, we got about 10 minutes left in the first half. Michigan State with a 1-0 lead. should still count though and that player for MSU is out. Alright. So 
two outs were made there. MSU now down to eight, nine. MSU nine players left. Towson only seven, but they do have ball advantage. Towson 3 0 on the tournament, trying to make it 4 0. They beat Saginaw in Central Michigan already. This will be their third win over the Michigan team this weekend if they're able to pull it off. Right now, Michigan State leads 1 0. Alright, here we go. The shot clock violation on Michigan State leaves them with zero balls on their side. Here comes the second throw. Team throw in the middle, all three miss. Catching by Michigan State has been what's kept them in this game. Leading 1-0 right now. They're doing a good job of picking and choosing when to reach for a catch and when to dodge the ball. Towson hasn't been able, to, been able to get much offense so far. They need to find a way to generate more offense against, against Michigan State. Michigan State super comfortable playing from their back line. Close miss there. Looks like MSU's coming up to do a team throw. Team throw here. Nope, oh, just a solo in the middle and it misses. Now MSU, a little bit of a ball advantage for them. Team throw in the corner. Not the right target to pick for that team throw. Guards tough to get out. Smart players still left on the court for Towson. These four players can definitely make a comeback here. Another high throw. Ball's over. Back 
been misleading since. Did you hear that? Yeah. I didn't hear what he said. I think it's probably one to one now. I'll check in between points here. Looks like they just started to move point though. And Central was leading the last one. Alright, here we go. Michigan State got the balls open. Four left for, for Towson. No good on that team throw. Four left still. Oh, and there's a headshot. Miss. Oh, and a hit. Three left for Towson now. Woo. That was close. Two left and a catch. Big catch in the corner. Three, three left on Towson's side and three balls. Green cross if you want. Go ahead. Closer angle. Good dodges by Towson. Showing a little bit of resiliency here in this point. See if they can get a couple more catches, they'll have a chance. Oh, and there's a hit. And, oh, not a team catch. Down to two players again on Towson's side. Almost a team catch, it was in his hands. And that's an out, unlucky. That's a good throw. Still two players left for Towson. MSU about seven players left on the court still. And another catch in the corner. Two catches for that guy over there, 35. Not very much time left before halftime. Michigan State trying to get a 2-0 lead. No good on that team throw too. And a timeout. How much time's left? 49 seconds. All right, only 49 seconds left. Towson, three players on the court. Big catches there for number 35. Probably saved them from giving up this point. That's a huge swing if Towson's able to keep it 1-0 before halftime. They'll have a legitimate chance to come back and win in regulation. Michigan State not able to capitalize there. They had a 1-0 lead, a big man advantage, and enough time to get Towson out before halftime, and they weren't able to do it. 49 seconds. They're going to have to play real aggressive here if they have any chance. Six players left on the court for LSU. Three for Towson. Towson's throw here. No good. And a miss. And there's a hit. No, never mind. Just a block. Catch. Catch in the corner by Towson. Catching out. 30 seconds to go. Timeout again. Towson saving both timeouts for the end of the half. Good calls by them. 16 seconds to go. Still three players left on the court for Towson. Looks like we're going into halftime. It'll be a 1-0 lead for Michigan State. Seconds left in the half. Getting another ball. There was blood on a ball. 
Towson, three players left, Michigan State, five. Uh, Towson did a good job kind of conserving there, able to stay alive. Not going down 2-0 before halftime is a big help. <laughs> best half of dodgeball for Michigan State today, though. They didn't have the best showing in their other two games. Holding the lead against Towson at halftime is impressive. First time Towson didn't take the first point of the game in the whole tournament. And looks like looks like that's about it. Five seconds left in the half. Halftime. All right. Towson stays alive. 1-0 Michigan State. Halftime.
it wasn't. Right. You were like right here. It wasn't like you were that far in that yeah. corner. So even if I'm tilted like this, it still gets it. And most of the game was all played over on this side of the court. So I was like this for the rest of the game. playing against Towson. in the final game of the tournament for them. They're 3-0 on the tournament. Trying to go 4-0, but Michigan State hanging on to a 1-0 lead at the half. Really big half for them. They made a lot of great catches. Towson playing their slow-paced strategy. Didn't work all that well because Michigan State's catches just swung the momentum back in their favor. yesterday against Miami in a back and forth game. One of the best games of the tournament. They were able to win in overtime. And then today against Central Michigan tie score of 2-2. Two two. A couple minutes left in the game. Towson was down to only three players against nine players for Central Michigan. And those three players made a comeback and got all nine players from Central out. The last one was eliminated with one second left on the clock. So Towson gets a last second win over Central Michigan. 3-2 final. Keep their undefeated record at this tournament. Alright, here we go. Second half underway now. And a quick out right off the bat. As is expected, Towson with a good run up. Getting the ball advantage. And a hit. Great start to the point for Towson. And another hit. Just like that, MSU in a catch. Peyton Schuster gets caught. Just like that, MSU only has seven players left on the court. Five of them eliminated in the first 30 seconds of the point. And another. MSU, six players left. 
Perfect start to the half for Towson. And another out. Make it five players left. Michigan State on the 10 count, less than a minute into the, first, into the second half. MSU's going to have to make some catches if they have any shot here. Good throw there. Towson with seven of the ten balls on their side of the court. Two misses there. MSU gets both of them. Towson, again, one of their issues this weekend is closing out points. They've got to be a little bit more efficient closing out points if they want to beat great teams. See how they can do against MSU here. Four, five players left for MSU. Another smart throw. player in the outline. Good block there. Good te team blocking. MSU gets the ball though. And a catch. Catch by Dennis Sullivan again. A lot of big catches for him this game. Good low throw there. You can come back. High throw there. Ball's over to Towson. Still five left on the court for MSU. Never mind, they called it an out. Four players left for MSU. Stepped out. Stepped out of bounds. Looked from here like he stepped out. Not sure if he kept his toe in or not, but the, the refs let him stay in. Four players left for MSU. Towson again. So good until the last four or five guys, and then they have trouble picking off the last few. Throw, no good. And a catch. Nice catch there. Ooh. Great job there. Getting the ball back to their side. Ball's over. Ball's over again to Towson. Alright, here we go. 
players left on the court. Down 1-0 right now. And there's a hit. And Michigan State leading 1-0. Towson trying to tie the score here early in the second half, about 20 minutes to go. And there's a hit. Good cross throw by Michigan State. Trying to pick him off one at a time. left in the game. 1-0 Michigan State lead. Another court Central Michigan leads Akron 3-1. And there's a catch. Michigan State needs a catch here, down to three players left. That's not going to do it. Two left on the court for Michigan State. Two good catchers, though. And another ball's over. Three balls over in this point alone for Towson. point. Alright, here we go. There's an out. One man left. Dennis Sullivan against 10,000 Tigers. Balls over again. Catching out by Dennis Sullivan. Peyton Schuster, the only man left now. Got caught in on the last catch. See if he can be a hero. Towson still about nine players on the court. Team throw. And a catch. Great catch. Max until it comes in, another good player. Michigan State still has a shot here if they can keep catching. Timeout. Michigan State gets a timeout, so all four of those get to go back to them. Smart timeout call by MSU. Two left for MSU. Five balls on their side. A little bit low there on that throw, but they count it as good. Oh, and a hit. Great throw there. Back down to one player for MSU. Ball's over called. We'll check the time right now. Hey, how much time do we got? 
17 minutes left in the game. 1-0 Michigan State. Towson having trouble closing this point out. MSU has had five or less players for the last seven minutes. Team throw. They call him safe. Dodged all of those balls somehow and stayed in bounds just by his foot. Towson stepping up for a throw here. Not a throw. Good, good placement there. Oh, and a hit. One at a time. One at a time. He's coming back. Towson needs to execute one team throw. That's it. And they tie the score. Good look there by Guar. Just misses. Schuster by himself. Already made one catch. Looking for another here. No catch. Ball's over is called. 16 minutes to go. Here we go, another team throw. Stays in again. Towson not able to connect on team throws at all. One of their weaknesses. One score. Towson just tied the game. Really good start to that point for them, but again, closing out the point is, a, is an issue for them. with six of the balls off the run up coming up to make a throw here no good on that one team throw nope just one Let's see if MSU can do a better job at the start of the point seems that when Towson has all of their players in right at the start they're a lot stronger of a team. Good block there, but a bounce back to Towson. And two wasted throws by Michigan State. Nice 
catch. MSU, basically the entire game has been played off their back line for MSU. Towson in the neutral zone all day long. And we got a ball's over. Alright, so apparently that ball's over was before the throw. Whistle was late. Towson against Michigan State. Again, Towson 3-0 on the tournament so far. Overtime win against Miami. Last second win against Central Michigan. Trying to finish it up with one last win over a Michigan team. They also beat Saginaw Valley 3-1 in their first game of the day yesterday. And that's one good team throw. MSU down to 10 players now. Towson still a full 12. One to one. We got about 12 minutes left in the game here. Team throw connects on Sullivan. One at a time, Towson picking off MSU players. If Michigan State can't get some type of ball advantage here back, they have no shot. Another one connects. MSU four players in the outline now. Three, three players in the outline. And a drop. Good throw there by Towson. Looks like they're going to get a two-on lead if they keep this up. they just got to be able to execute on every throw. When MSU is squared up looking for a catch. Placement is key here for Towson. Solo throw misses. That one is a bit off to the side. by Schuster. Not all teams played four games. Some played three. Some are playing five like Akron. Towson was here both days, so they got a full uh, four day, four, four games out of it. Uh, and that's a hit they call in the corner. Michigan State now down to seven players. The full schedule can be found at a link I will post in the comments in a moment. That's an out right there. Another good throw by Schuster. And a miss. Two misses. Get the water bottle. Water bottle. Hey, get the water bottle. That's an out. Six left for MSU now. Towson looking to take a lead here. No, not a throw there. Ball's over. Towson gets the ball's over call here. One to one game. Second half.
find no. out what the time is here in a sec. No. 10.34 left. Four left in the game. Towson trying to take a 2 1 lead. And Schuster gets hit. Big team throw there. Put four balls on him. MSU now on the 10 count with only five players left in the game. Ooh. Just high. Another close throw there. That's a hit. 16 goes down. Central Michigan up 3 to 1 right now. I'll check in between points. Last I heard, they're up 3 to 1 against Akron. Uh, we got a balls over call. Towson with the balls again. All right, here we go. Setting up a team throw. Miss with both. Four to one, Central Michigan in the lead now against Akron. And out of bounds. Oh, they're calling. Calling the ball's over. Towson tied with Michigan State right now. Final game of the day for them. One to one score, we're in the second half. <laughs> Under 10 minutes to play now. If Michigan State is to lose this point, they need to lose it quick so they have time to score another point before the end of regulation. If Towson drags this out for another five minutes and takes a point, that leaves Michigan State with four minutes or less, or less left on the court. Not enough time to score a point against Towson. So if you're MSU, you gotta start reaching for catches, doing anything you can to stay alive here find a catch, but if Towson takes out a couple players, you got to think about stepping out of bounds, giving your team another chance to score a point before the end of regulation. Michigan State, only one ball on their side. Towson sent up a team throw, it looks like. Nope, just a solo, and it misses, but they get the bounce back. We're going to get another ball over here in a sec. There it is. Again, Michigan State, if you're one of the captains for MSU, you need to start at least thinking about it. Ten, less than 10 minutes ago, you're tied 1-1 one to one right now, but it looks a lot like Towson's going to take this point. They have the ball advantage. They have the player advantage. If Towson is, in fact, going to take the point, you want them to take that point as quick as possible to give yourself an actual chance to take the last point against Towson. Tie the game 2-2, two to two maybe. Force it in overtime. Right now, score is one to one. Coming up for a team throw. All three miss. Michigan State only gets one of the balls, though. And they throw it down, not even close to hitting someone. Another miss. Ball's over. Again. All right, they're calling him out. So he's out, and then there's the ball's over. MSU now only four left. Michigan State, the players on the court, you know you're not going to hang with them just playing this type of game. It's just going to be one guy at a time. Slowly but surely, Towson's going to pick you off, take a point with maybe four minutes to go in the game. Towson should be completely content with doing that. Michigan State, on the other hand, not sure if it's the right call for them to stay in. Unless they make a couple catches here in the next minute or two, you've got to step out of bounds. There it is, reaching for a catch at least. 
They've got to make a better effort in that, in that area. Towson totally fine playing the slow game here. Waiting for their shot clock. Coming up to do a throw. Miss again. All right, and Peyton Schuster says it. Step out of bounds, and they do. All right, probably the right call by Schuster to do that. Again, the reasoning for that. The game was tied 1-1. One one. Now Towson has the lead 2-1. to one. MSU's going to have to get a point before the end of regulation to force overtime. So as long as they have to do that, they may as well give, it, give themselves as much time as possible. 7.51. 7.31 left. So seven and a half minutes to go. That's enough time for MSU to go get a point, but they're going to have to really execute. Yeah. Twelve balls over in the last two points is a, the official stat. Very, very annoying for that to happen. But... Is it working? Is it working? All right, here we go. Towson leads two to one. Here we go. Crucial run up, and that's one hit. And he gets a bounce back on it, right off the guy's back. Towson still with a slight ball advantage. They have seven. And that's one hit. Towson down to ten players now. But the again, the bounce back is their friend. They have the ball advantage. Michigan State is going to have to do something special if they're able to come back and score a point here. It starts with one catch. David Guar got hit there on a, on a uh, counter throw. That's a big loss for Towson. One of their smartest players. Does a really good job holding down the right side of the court for Towson. Max Antilla pushing up. And he gets a hit. MSU trying to get a little momentum here. Schuster, close, but he misses. Chill. Oh, drops the catch. He had it in his hands. It's Michigan State still a little bit of an advantage uh, player-wise here. They have all but one player on the court. Towson is down three or four. Good look there. They call him safe. Did not hit him. Towson, eight players left. And a catch. And that's why you get out of bounds right after you get out. And a good job. MSU playing really well this point. Towson on the 10 count, just like that. Huge shift in the momentum. Can Towson hang around again like they did against Central Michigan earlier today? 2-1 to lead for Towson. Oh, and a drop catch. 35 had that in his hands. He's been a big catcher for Towson today. Not able to do it there. Three players left for Towson. Good look by... Tyler Schmitz in the corner there. And three players left for Tyler Schmitz. On score, Tyler Schmitz. And number 99. I'd say two of Towson's top players are still in the game, so they have a chance here. And a team for the connect. Great team up there by MSU. Just short of the catch there. I, th I thought you were in. I thought he hit the ground. This game could be going to overtime. Five minutes to go. 
Towson holding on to a 2 1 lead. There's a catch. Great catch. Brings in number 16. Three players left for Towson again. They were able to handle this last time. A three on nine against Towson. Well, it's three on ten. Right now. Timeout for Towson. Big catching by Towson in the last minute. Four players left on the court. 4.06 to go. MSU needs to keep the pace up. They have four people to get out in four minutes if they want to force overtime. Two to one lead for Towson. Central Michigan defeats Akron 4 to 1. Akron had the lead, kept a couple points close. Central Michigan comes out with the win. Over here we have a 2 to 1 lead for Towson. Michigan State, great start to this point. Trying to mount a comeback here. But Towson with a couple catches in the last minute. They have four players left. Now. Does MSU have the arms still in the game after Dennis Sullivan and Peyton Schuster got knocked out in the last minute? Oh, good block there. Towson's got the ball advantage now. Are they going to play very slow? It looks like they are. Ooh, nice dodge there, too. Towson's got to play as a team with four players left. If they want to win this game. Up 2-1 to one right now. The issue is they're still on the 10 count, Michigan State is not. So they can't really hang on to that ball advantage for all that long. Hey guys. Oh, what a cross. Great throw for MSU, down the three players. And a ball's over call. Oh man, that just comes down to bad communication from Towson. They should have yelled out the cross. They should have known how many, how many seconds left they had before the shot clock was up. Not a great swing there for Powell. Three players left now. Ball's over called against them. That shot clock violation might be the last straw, and MSU might be able to get this point. Great dodging by Towson. Three players remaining for Towson. Only a couple minutes left in the game. Oh, and a drop there. 99 misses it. Two players to go. And another hit. One left for Towson. He's got to save. Save the day for Towson and win the game 2 1 if it lasts the next two minutes without getting eliminated. If MSU can get one more team throw, they force OT. Team throw connect. That's the way he tried to stay in there. Made himself look like a problem. Two balls, no cheating. If they got it. Kind of annoying with some of Thompson's players standing right next to the court. You aren't allowed to stand right on the court, especially when your player goes in over into the corner to, to dodge. You can hide behind a player if your player is standing right on the side. They've been told that like six times. And looks like we're going to OT. Great game by these two teams. Alright, let's go, let's go. Hey, I'll like her, uh, everyone go on that side still. Possible. Let the overtime outline go on this side. If possible. 
overtime, Michigan State against Towson. Towson's third game this weekend that has come down to the wire. I feel like we keep on beating the best game of the day. It happens over and over. I would still say the Saginaw Akron game is my game of the day. Instant classic after instant classic. Yeah, that is true. Instant classic is a good way to put it. So it stays there. Yeah. Ten years from now on ESPN Rewind, we'll watch this. Our lives Our lives We got enough room to film all the way over here. Are you playing? If there's an injury in overtime. Uh, yeah, but you can't you can't put it in. So if somebody goes somebody gets injured, somebody gets injured. Get injured. Yeah. So so yeah, put in your best six. Yeah. Alright, OT about to start. Thousand six. Looks like I believe the same six that they had. No no, Count Score is sitting out. I think his arm is done and that's why he's not in. So here we go. Overtime, Michigan State, Thousand. Tied two to two. Good catch, Towson up six on four, just like that. Michigan State's got to play smart, hey, Kevin. Oh, and a drop! Reached for it. Not a good reach there. Schuster gets him out and stays in. Hey, Kevin, Kevin, just make sure you're back a little bit. You're good. Four on five now. MSU coming up to throw. Good work there, good spot. Ooh, almost takes out Schuster. He comes up. Good block. A lot of power arms in the game right now. Two to two tie. We're in OT. The ball's over. And Towson trying to just get the bounce back. Comes back to bite them at the worst possible time. That's what you get for throwing right in the middle in between two people. Ten feet away from both of them. You gotta make a closer throw. And that throw right there just maybe cost your team the game because now the ball's over in MSU's favor. You know Schuster wants us to win if he's pinching a ball again. He really yeah. wants us to win. Uh, and uh, to answer the question that was uh, asked earlier, Schuster has an issue with uh, one of his fingers, his middle finger. I think he keeps re-breaking it is what he said. Uh, so he's trying to heal it right now, and that's why he's not pinching. He can still open hand throw fine. Uh, pinching's a bit of an issue until it's all the way healed, he said. But... He's taping it up right now and he's pinching because he has a chance to upset the number two team in the country. Wow. No good on the team throw. Good dodges by Towson there. Just missed. Uh, five players in for Towson, four for MSU. Another team throw and they connect on that one. And a ball's over. That hurts for Towson. You've got to find a way to make a catch. Dodge into the corner where the ball doesn't bounce back right off the wall directly back to Michigan State. You've got to find some way to get the ball advantage back on your side. Again, overtime is six on six. Sudden death. Only, only seven balls are used in overtime. MSU has all seven. Towson needs to find a way to get a couple on their side and make some throws. Good dodges there. There we go for Towson. Two balls on their side. Strong offensive team. They need to get more balls on their side to play their type of game. Four on four right now. Four players left on both sides. Towson trying to end the tournament for you on the day. Oh, and there's a hit. Dennis Sullivan got knocked out on the far side. Uh, so Towson now has a man advantage. Four on three in overtime here. Oh! And it's called ground. He's safe. 
Oh no, ref called it into ground force. Ref called it, I think that was the right call. So right. Skipped off the ground and tried to make a catch, but it did not work. That is a good one. Four left for Towson, still three for MSU. Hey Kevin, what's his name here this way? Jack. Jack Conklin? Yeah. <laughs> That's an MSU player. Hill? Hill. He's had a good game. Hey! Four on three still. Ooh, good look there by Schmidt. We have Jack Hill right here, Peyton Schuster, and then oh, Sandro. Wow. Sandro's Rivera looking for catches in the middle. It looks like Peyton and Jack are the main throwers for MSU. Schuster! Oh! Oh, wow! Hits him in the chest! That was a throw. Schmitz gets hit right in the chest by Schuster, goes rockets up in there, almost hits the ceiling. Three on three now. Oh, that was a catchable ball. That hit Gotta be careful. Material right there, goes gift material right there. Yeah. Over here, Colin Norman in the game. Reaches for a catch, Schuster another out. MSU about to pull an upset, three on two advantage now. Towson needs a catch here. Ball's over. Did not throw in time. They've got to communicate better there. The, the big thing there was Towson did a fantastic job pump taking. Michigan State came up to throw. To throw. Towson heard the shot clock was counting down for Michigan State and they pump faked on the thrower. He dropped his ball looking for a catch, but when you drop your ball, you're not able to pick it up and throw in time. Ten seconds was off before they threw. Huge boost for Towson. That is great dodgeball IQ by the Towson player. Right? Hey, get, make sure Towson's bench. Hey, take that. All right, here we go. Two on three, team throw. Schuster stays alive. Timeout. And a timeout is called. What's the timeout call? Timeout was called when both balls were still there. So MSU uses their only timeout of overtime. Towson still has theirs. Good spot to use it though, man. Yep. No, Peyton is pinching. Can confirm, I'm watching him. Definitely a lot harder. That's why he's hitting people in the chest and the ball's hitting the ceiling. Alright, again. Jake's sarcasm does not translate over text break. That's true. Two left for Towson. Three left for Michigan State. Two to two game right now. We're in sudden death overtime. What a game it has been. Schuster, Rivera, and Hilt in the game. Barely gets that throw off in time. Towson coming up to throw here. Just low. Hey, back up a bit. Oh, great look by Michigan. Very good look. Hey, make sure you're back. Oh. And that's a hit. Oh, oh. headshot. Headshot oh. by Schuster. Oh. Jack Hill kills him on the suicide. Wow, folks. <laughs> Michigan State with the win. Another classic. What a game. Schuster came up huge in overtime. Didn't have the best game overall. He was making catches but not throws. In overtime, he started pinching, and you could see the difference pretty obvious. Definition of clutch plays for Michigan State in overtime. Hey, you want to you interview him? Yeah. Right. I'll let you do it. I'll go grab him. All right, stick around. We're going to get a quick interview with uh, MSU's captain. What a game. 3-2 yeah, to overtime win for MSU. All right, go ahead. So, in my opinion, your decision to start pitching in overtime towards the end of the game won this match for you. In, in 
Five words, how do you feel right now? Tired shit. That was great. That's great. <laughs> Tired. Honestly, though, you know what? You know, we've been down all year, kind of, I would say, underperforming a touch. People want to see us playing more tournaments. We got MDC next weekend, but in my opinion, to come out here and beat Towson, who's a killer squad, in that game, it was it's worth it. Yeah. Whether my finger hurts or not, for sure. We need to sure. win. It was a huge one for us. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so now you were you were in talks in the final four, but now you have to be in talks for, for the, the finals. I sure hope so. Oh, it helps. So for you, what was what was your peak of of, of overtime? Um, uh, really, at the end of regulation, I threw a catch in my pinch roll, but I could feel my release point. Yeah. Um, when I felt that release point, and I mean, I truly believe that if I put my throw in a good spot, no one's gonna catch it. So if I put it in a good spot, I figured they weren't gonna catch it. Yeah. And I gave, I gave, I threw the ball as hard as I could. So for you, was a good spot square in the chest? Because that happened three times. Well, if you throw hard enough, you're not going to catch it. <laughs> you obviously so, throw hard enough because the ball went to the rafters. So <laughs> I'm out there just trying to, I mean, that's how I play. Like, I'm going to play emotional. I'm going to pump the ball if you make a good catch on me. I expect you to say something to me. Because if I hit you square in the chest, I'm going to say something to you. So um, I just, I'm just going to pump. I'm just going to keep pumping. That's I mean, great. That's, that's just how I play. That's great. Well, congratulations. Go celebrate. Thank you. One more thing. Goal prediction, both for MDC and Nationals for your team after this big win. I know you guys didn't have your full roster here. No, I, I truly believe that we could be the best team in the country with my full roster if we play well. My bold prediction is that we will give Grand Valley a run for their money. I'm not saying we're going to beat them, but that team's pretty much unbeatable. And I think that we're going to give them a hard time. We come Nationals, I think we're going to be ready to go and give them even more of a run for their money. Given, Hopefully we take it from them. Given this win right here, is this the year you're going to break the Michigan Dog World Cup curse? Oh, no, no. No, no. <laughs> great. Great stuff, man. All right, congrats. Well done. Thank you, Colby, uh, running the tournament. And fantastic game by MSU. Overtime win, 3-2. to two. Congrats to the Spartans. Only the second team to beat Towson all year. What a game. Payton Schuster coming up huge in overtime. Thank you for the interview, Colby Bryson. Model material, both Payton and Colby, I would say. <laughs> That's not a hot take either. What? what? Oh, you All right, awesome. All right, and we're about to start the next game. We're going to cut this live stream and jump right into a new one. Akron's playing Ohio. This should be a really good game as well, so stick around, and we'll get that one to you in a minute.